Hello friends, welcome. Now in the previous video we worked with the roles resource, we display here the only the name and we can change that. Also we have here to create a new role and we have this name and we are going to change this to have more uh, good looking form. We are going to add a card and maybe uh, ID and create a dot or update a dot here. Also maybe a search if you like and the delete button in here instead of to delete we need to go to the edit and delete. Now to generate a resource we run this command which created the resource role resource class and also the role resource folder which has the pages folder and the create edit and list roles. We have a simple flag by creating a resource with a flag simple which is going to create only the resource role, role resource class. Also we have this the dash the, the generate which, which is going to generate that the same with a resource but is going to populate the form and the model. Also we have here with a soft deletes if you want to like. But if we use right now this one, it's not going to populate the the form because the so in this video we are going to work with permissions and let's do this. Let's copy this command here. And I'm going to open the terminal and paste that in and install and let's create the permission. It's not going to create the form and the table because the permission is not in our models. So this is in the Spotty models. And let's do that. Let's clear and just test. So if I paste this one, just instead of customer, let's say permission. And let's say generate. Okay. Let's go in the filament. We have permission. Resource, as you can see, is empty because the model, we have permission here and it's looking for inside the app model's permission. But let's generate also one more for the users and change the model from permission to say user hit enter and now let's see the different difference here if you go to the user resource in the form now we have all the fields because it's going to look inside the user model it is going to find that uh, the fields we have there okay now i'm going to go inside the role resource and copy this text and add inside the permission because it's going to be almost the same. Also, let's import this first. And I don't know why this uh, shortcut is not working in my editor, but let's change also the permission model here. Remove this and import the class from Spotty permission models. Okay. And then go back and just copy this text column, make and paste inside the table. Also import this one. And let's save. Let's go in our project. And if I refresh, now we have roles, permission and users. And let's go to the permission. We don't have any permission. Let's create a new permission. Let's say uh, create posts. And we redirect it here. If I go to the permission, yeah, we have the create posts here. Okay, if I go to the user, we have the name, email, 
email verified and the password and here we have also the created that and updated that so let's go to the users and we have two users here with all the fields when we update now as you can see we have this uh, is required but if we want i want to update for example only the name or the email and don't update the password this is going to throw an error so yeah we need to require this we need to change this one but let's work in the permission so let's and also in, inside the text in the form let's make this required we're going to change the required here okay and also change the uh, unique we need to be unique this one so if i save and let's go and create this create post again so let's say create post and the name has already been taken and if i say again here yeah it's going to create now if you don't like the redirect back you can let's search here for the redirects and we can change that for example here so we need to add this method in the uh, create page on the create page class so let's copy that and let's navigate in the permission create page here and paste that method in and let's save it and let's see now if i let's delete this okay and let's create a new permission and let's say new create and now we redirect it back also uh, let's do the same in the roles create paste that in hit save and also in the users create because i'd like to redirect to the index now i said in the previous video if, to, if you don't uh, know more about uh, filament i have a full tutorial in my playlist in the description so you can check that or you can go and visit this filamentphp.com and read the documentation for what you like and also have the search here to search what you don't know okay so we have the we can create a user let's go and just test this user now test test at test.com and add the password here and if i say create yeah we have that but the email verify that is not displaying here and we can edit but edit as, as i said so if i say edit we need to add the password and we need to work with this and we can delete yeah okay friends uh one more thing here uh if i go and create i want to add a card and if i come here so form builder because in the form we need to add a card and if you go to the layout we have the card here so to add the card we need to add this card make and add the schema also can change the columns so let's go in the i'm going to add to all of them so inside here i'm going to say card from filament form components make and change the 
schema here, which is going to be an array, and inside of the array, we put that one. Okay, now here we are in the permissions, and if we go now in the permission, new permission, as we can see, we have this uh, card here, and let's do the same in the roles. So let's add the card and say make and change the schema. It's going to be an array with our, all of our uh, fields. In this case, we have only one and the same in the users. So let's add the card say make and schema, add an array with all other fields inside and let's say save. Now go to the roles, card table does not exist. I think we have in the role resource and we have added this in the table of my my mistake here in the form and not in the table and let's save okay let's go new role yeah let's go to the users and the same I think we have done in the users as yeah in the side of the table I have moved the Okay, and refresh, let's see, new user, and now we have this nice card here. Also, we can change that uh, columns, so let's add inside the users the columns to be true, and now if I refresh, we have two columns. Okay, friends, that's it about this video. I hope you enjoy and see you in the next one. All the best. Thank you very much.